Hey, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a pop tab ring binder. This is just an A5 sized one, so if you want an A4 size you have to make it slightly larger. But this is just made out of pop tabs and it's fairly simple if you've made one of the bags before. So we're just going to take some yarn, make a slip knot and we're going to attach this to a crochet hook. And we're going to crochet the pop tabs together. So this is just the basic way of crocheting pop tabs together. So you're going to start off with two facing each other. So you want like, the outside parts facing. And then we're going to go through the top hole with the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through so you've got two hoops on the hook. And then we're going to grab the yarn again and pull it through both those hoops. And this is basically going to be the basic stitch that we're going to do through all of this. And we're going to do this three times in each hole. So once you've done it three times, you want to add another two for the next row down. So again, you get two facing each other, and we're gonna we want the top one, of the second one, to overlap the bottom one of the first one. So we're gonna put this in between the first two. And then we're going to go through all four tabs on that one. And again, the same stitch, but doing it three times. And then you want to just keep adding two tabs at a time until you've got 22 rows. So this first bit, you're going to use 44 tabs. And the next row, again, between the tabs and this does actually take quite a while to make but once you get into a rhythm it goes quicker just the first bit is a bit fiddly finding your feet <laughs> so this is what it looks like when it's get to the bottom then in the last one you just crochet three times just in the last two tabs And then that's the first row done. Well, if actually it's the first two rows. You've done two rows at once here. So when you open it up, you can see there's two rows of tabs done. It might be a bit tight at first, but once you open it up, it actually moves a bit around a bit more. So now we're going to do the next row. So you want to just chain three for this, so you just grab the yarn without putting it through any tabs and pull it through the hoop three times and then we're ready to start the next one. And from now on we're actually just going to add one tab at a time. So again, so they're facing each other, you want to go and do three stitches again. You, with the first and last holes where you're only going through two tabs, you don't want to do it too tightly because it will bunch it up a bit and make it a bit out of shape so you want to make those slightly looser stitches than the other ones. Then the next tab goes on top of that one so it's overlapping on top and you keep adding them like that until you get to the end. So you go through one hole three times, add another one in the next hole, and then you open that up when you're done. And that's row three. Row four, again, you chain three again. If you're using thin yarn, you might actually have to chain a couple more. You just want it so you can get to the other side of the pop tab. So now going back in the opposite direction, starting from the top, we're going to place the wrinkle again face down, but how you attach the next ones is going to be slightly different. So we're going to do the three crochets in each hole. Because you want to um, have the tops of the pop tab showing on the outside, 
when you add the second one and the ones after this one going in this direction you want to put it underneath the first tab so this one you're going to take instead of putting it on top you're going to slide it underneath so you just slide it in there and then carry on and that's going to be the same going in this direction and then you just repeat what you're doing backwards and forwards until you've done 20 rows. So we want 20 rows of 22 pop tabs. And this will create a nice size for an A5 binder. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I decided to use some different colored tabs in there as well. You don't have to, obviously. Now I'm just gonna go around the edges, doing the same stitch as I did before, except for obviously I'm not um, creating lines, I'm just going around the edges of them. So again, I'm going to do three stitches in each hole along the sides. Once you get to this point, it should be actually really simple. You should be doing this quite quickly. So if you're still taking it slow, that, that's the best way really, then you can't make any mistakes. So all across the sides you want to do three in each hole but along the top and the bottom because the holes are slightly wider in those areas you want to do four stitches so we're going to go all the way up here then four stitches down this one three along the other side and then four along the bottom and as you're going around you want to kind of hide the ends in so you just hide them Put them to one side and just hide them at your crochet in. So you crochet them into it as well. And then cut off any excess that you don't need. This is what it looks like when it's done. So this is going to be the front. And you're going to need one for the back as well. So you need two of these. And then the spine as well, which is the same length, 22 long, but I've only just done it too wide. So this is what it looks like when they're all done. And now I'm going to create the spine of it. So the edge that you want the spine attached. You want to attach some yarn just with the simple the single crochet that we've been using. And you want to do this along each stitch that you've done along this edge. So you just go through the stitch that you've done previously, grab the yarn, pull it through and carry on doing that along the edge, just that one edge. So it looks like this and then you flip it over and basically go the other way. So you're creating like a crocheted section and you keep doing this until you've got the thickness of your spine. So those, that bit where I had a two rows of pop tabs, so you want it that thickness. So you just carry on doing that. This did take me a little while because I haven't crocheted like basic crochet be, like for ages. Make sure you go into the, each um, stitch on the previous line though, you don't want to miss one. So you keep going backwards and forth, forwards until it's done. And when it's done, you just want to chain one more. Then you want to make sure you've got quite a long tail, and then cut off from the ball of yarn. And then we're just going to pull it through the last stitch. So you just carry on pulling it, and then that will knot itself up. And then we're just going to sew this. To the other side of the binder. So I'm just going to lay these on top and just going to do a simple stitch just in and out just to attach them. You don't need anything fancy for this. And when that's done, we're going to attach the actual binder clip. 
this is what it looks like. You might want to like pull it about a bit just to um, shape it. Um, but yeah, it should stay in shape once you've done that. So I've got one of these binder clips. You can actually buy them on eBay, like basic like this. But I actually got this from an old one. It was like really cheap one, and it was like a bit bent. So I actually just pulled that off with an old one. So um, so everything's actually really so good in this except the yarn. <laughs> and you just want to place that right in the middle. And I'm going to use these split pins. I'm just going to pop them through the hole of the clip thingy and this should just slide through one of the stitches so I'm not actually going forcing it through the yarn itself it's just going in between the stitches I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom again making sure it's in the middle I did move around a bit I was trying to hold it in place and keep it on camera, which isn't an easy thing to do. So you want one of those pins in the top and the bottom. You flip it over and then you open those pins up and it will keep it in place. And this is why I crocheted this bit, as well as having the pop tab spine. So I can attach this and then I can have the pop tab spine on the outside to actually hide the pins on that side. So that's nearly done. The only thing that's left now is to sew this on the edge, which again, you just take some more yarn that matches the colour of um, your folder and just go in and out along one side and then along the other side and tie it off and that's pretty much it. You can line the inside if you want with fabric so you can't see through the folder. I actually like the look of being able to see through the little gaps. So this is actually fiddly to start off with, but once you've done it, once you start, it's easy to carry on. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this one, and see you in my next video. Bye.